Grade 5 Math, number 6.3, Estimate Fractions, Sums, and Differences. We can estimate fraction sums and differences using a number line and benchmarks or mental math. Using a number line and benchmarks, if we wanted to add 1 fifth plus 2 fourths and we created benchmarks of 0, a fourth, a half, 3 fourths, and 1, because these are easy benchmarks, if we had 0 and 1, we would know right in the middle is a half, so we would put that. Then we know that the 1 fourth is right in between the 0 and the half, and the 3 fourths is right in between the half and the 1. See? So we could make those as easy benchmarks. If we're adding these two numbers together, the first thing we do is we put a point at the 1 fifth spot and ask ourselves which benchmark is it closer to. It's closer to the fourth. So that's going to be our first rounded number. We put a point at the two-fourths, which is a half, and it places us right there. And then we know that we've got one-half and one-fourth as our rounded fractions. All we have to do is look at the number line to add them to see that they're three-fourths, so our estimate would be three-fourths. If we're at a half and we added a fourth more, that puts us at three-fourths. So three-fourths is our estimate. If we wanted to use the benchmarks 0, half, and 1, and we wanted to add 4 sevenths plus 2 six, we would place our dot at the 4 sevenths mark and see that it's closer to the half benchmark, so that's going to be our first rounded number. And the 2 six is also closer to the half benchmark. See, it's closer here than it is here. That's farther away. So we're going to use a half and a half as our estimates. A half and a half is one whole. And if you look at this and you take 2 6 and you add it to 4 7 it is about one whole. See? We're adding about that much to here. See? If we want to use mental math and we have 7 8 plus 5 12 we think to ourselves 7 8 is almost 8 8 or one whole. So we can round it to one whole. The 5 twelfths is almost 6 twelfths, or a half. See? The numerator is almost half of the denominator, so we can round that to a half. Now we have 1 and a half, so 1 and a half is our estimate. 7 eighths plus 5 twelfths is around 1 and a half. So now you can try using the number lines and benchmarks, or rounding with mental math, to solve your estimation uh, fraction problems. And I'll see you next video. You can do this. It's not that hard. Bye.